Is your shoulder all right? You didn't seem to be favoring it or anything. It was never really that hurt. They blew it all way out of proportion. Yeah, they tend to do that. Do you want to talk about it? You know, I'm willing, I'm willing to try. I mean, if you still think a divorce is best or all that's left. I just have to think, Pete. That's all right now. What I need is some change. I thought I'd get that by being called up, but I feel like I was only gone for a week. Hey, check it out. It's my angel cards. Do you remember these? Yeah, I remember them. I love these. They're so revealing. Here, pick one. I thought you didn't believe in these things. But hey, you never know, right? So what'd you get? I guess mine does kind of fit. Well, I guess mine fits. Maybe I should make it fit. So, have you thought about what you want to do? No, not yet. Not really. Well, I have. Thought of something you might be interested in doing. I mean, you talk about change and all. This might be new. Fun? What is it? Let's go to the cabin. The cabin? My family's cabin. Remember the place where we had the family reunion a few years ago? Oh. Yeah, I hated that. Sorry. Well, that was the company, not the cabin, right? Well, when? Now. You're thinking of leaving now? Sure. 
I can call in sick today, and that will give us a three-day weekend up there. Well, that place is out in the middle of nowhere. And the road is completely snowed in, isn't it? Not the whole way. We can get really close, but with chains and four-wheel drive... It'll be different. A change. At least temporary. And we won't be totally cooped up out there. You can get out and ski for miles around there if you want. No TV, no radio. The cell won't even work out there. If you're worried about being disturbed, it won't happen. That's not really what I'm worried about. You gonna take that thing? Might be fun. One more thing. Draw one. Another? Draw one for the trip. Okay. I'm cool with that. That's an interesting one to get, especially for me. We'll take these with us. We'll draw one every day, just for fun. Okay. I don't remember it being this far out here. It's because of the snow. It's only about 30 miles from the highway, but the weather makes it seem like 60. I'm glad you know the way. I wouldn't be able to find it. I think I know the way. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Yeah. Kind of. There's a lot of turns, but if we go too far, we run into the watershed, which is gated year-round.
You all right? Yeah. You want to talk about anything? I murdered some guy. What? Murder? Basically, yeah, I, I panicked and I killed some guy. Good murder. We were checking some people out and somebody shot at us and broke the window in the Humvee. And I spun around and there was this guy standing in the distance holding something up. And I pulled the rifle up and I, and I shot him. That isn't murder. When we got over to the guy, it was this older guy with a walking stick. No rifle, a stick. shot him in the face. He was alive for a few minutes. Long enough for a crowd to gather to see who had killed him. And they knew, and I knew that they knew, that I'd forever get away with it. Well, Holly. I looked down and my arm was cut from when the window broke. They gave me a medal and sent me home. They gave me a medal for murdering some guy.
Hey. Hey. What are you doing? Just watching you sleep. I'm thinking. Before we left the house, you left something. Something I guess you didn't want. Why did you throw these away? Part of my life I'd rather forget. Still part of your life, part of your past. What about the others in your life? You want them, you can keep them. Okay, deal. What are you doing? Keeping them. Call it togetherness. Faith. You drew faith, I drew togetherness. That works. Thinking of heading out. What do you want for lunch? Lunch? Are you gonna hunt us lunch? So what'll it be? Venison? Hassen pfeffer? Hassen pfeffer? Uh, I'm thinking of becoming vegetarian. Uh, can you hunt us up some spaghetti with marinara sauce? <laughs> oh hey, check out at the car. See if it's still there. How'd you get this far out here? A little help, Holly? How long have you been out there? Uh, like two days. I'm Pete Foster. This is my wife, Holly. So, Mr. Mitchell, Ethan Mitchell. I'm a naturalist. Uh, I was out looking for, for birds and migration and such, and I, I I came across these two hunters who I, I mean, I guess they got tired of hunting for deer and they, they thought I would make a better prey. I mean, I've been running for almost 30 hours straight. Where did you start out, Mr. Mitchell? For, uh, yeah, Forlorn Lakes. Forlorn Lakes? That's out near 60, buried under three feet of snow. Are you sure? Uh, well, I mean, not the lakes. I mean, it's, um, 
it was like near a trail park or, or, or a trailhead or a road park. I mean, that's the name that I remember. I, okay. Come on, that's the name that I remember. Honest, I had a map. I, hey, look, where am I? I mean, do you, do you have a phone that I could use? You're about eight miles from Forlorn Lakes in a private area. We can give you a ride into town as soon as you're warmed up. There's an 800 gallon water heater, so don't worry about using it all. So do you believe him? Of course not, but you might. Okay, why not? Psycho hunters? Forlorn Lakes is like 12 miles away, isn't it? No food, no water. Okay, so he has down and Gore-Tex, but is that enough to survive the night? With no frostbite on his fingers or toes? What about the book? The monocular? An easy cover. A cover for what? Didn't the guy seem freaked out? Maybe. Maybe a slightly harder cover. Then what is he? A robber. Remember the sounds of the car last night? To rob us? What do we have? Maybe a hundred dollars cash? And zero valuables. Nothing. Oh, zero valuables? How easily we forget. Again. Alright. I don't want to argue about this now. So how did he get here? Walk? What about the car? The car is still there. And no, I don't remember the sound. Are you certain? Are you certain? So you believe him? Maybe. But what are we going to do either way? Look, we can't just kick the guy out into the snow. Your plan? We drive him into town. You drive, he'll ride shotgun, and I'll ride behind him and watch him. And what if, what if he has friends out there waiting to trash the cabin as soon as we leave? All right. What were you thinking? You take him into town. I'll stay here and hold down the fort, so to speak. Okay, I'll go start the car and get it warmed up. Take this.
I really appreciate you guys helping me out like this. I hope he's careful. I have no idea where those guys are. It's a nice place you have here. How'd you get that scar on your foot? Oh God, <laughs> that ugly thing. I, I, uh, I stepped on a saw when I was a kid. When you were a kid? Must have been pretty deep to look that fresh. Well, a teenager. Just young and stupid, playing in my dad's garage and a lot of stitches. Yeah, it hurt like hell. Oh, I should probably get dressed. Not so fast. Cold must have gotten to it. That's all I can figure. Well, so when did you have it last serviced? Okay, where's the nearest help? Probably the ranger station on 140 off of Road 60. Uh, 2210 to 260 to 60. 140 cutoff. Yeah. 30 miles feels like 60. That's it? You can make it? How quick? I don't know. I've, with food and water, I can make it in 9, 10 hours. What? You're going to walk 30 miles in the snow in, in 9 hours? Not walk. Ski. If you leave now, which means in an hour, you'll be skiing half of that in the dark, pitch black dark. Look, let's just rest, think on it, and if we can't come up with a better idea, you can leave at first light and make it for sure. Well, so why should she go instead of you? She's a faster skier, and she's just got done with I'm just a better skier, that's all. Twenty two ten isn't even on here. But we're about here, right? Yeah. Well, instead of going twenty two ten to two sixty to sixty to one forty and out, why don't I just go this way? Go to the end of two sixty, cut cross country to sixty forty eight and up to this place. It's only about six miles. Hmm. Seven Rivers Fire Lookout. That's at the watershed. So? So it's a $25,000 fine for entering the watershed, and for good reason. This qualifies as an emergency. Look, it's only six miles, six miles versus 30. Right, right. Every lookout has a shortwave radio and wool blankets in case I need to spend the night. I can get there in three hours, two coming back. Six miles versus 30. Thirty miles feels like sixty versus less than six. What's the range on these? 
five miles, maybe more if we're lucky. I feel lucky. Oh, wait, one more thing. Well, six miles is better than 30. Just wake me up when the sheriff or whoever it is gets here, huh?
CQ, CQ, is anybody out there? I'm at Seven Rivers Lookout. This is an emergency. Is anybody out there? CQ, CQ, is anybody out there? Hey, Pete, buddy. How you doing? What? what are you doing? I got some unfinished business with the U.S. government, Pete. Pete, I got some good news and uh, I got some not so good news. The good news is you're not going to die, Pete. Although you'll probably die eventually. I mean, hell, we all go sooner or later, right? <laughs> the not so good news? Do you remember when the Soviets invaded Afghanistan back in the 1980s? Well, the Taliban, the Pashtun, the Mujahideen, they all teamed up together, Pete. They came up with this really, really great technique. Instead of killing the Soviet soldiers that they caught, they would injure them, they would maim them, Pete not only preventing them from fighting back or, or, or trying to follow them, but they would slow down their comrades as well who had to stop and help them. It drained their resources. Pete, it psychologically fucked them up. <laughs> it was very effective. Nasty guys, the Taliban. Well, anyway, this technique came in really handy just last year, Pete, against American Armed Special Forces that they caught and they tried to slow down. Now, uh, hypothermia, that's one way. Compounding that. Hey, don't worry, Pete. In the case of Holly doesn't get back to save you in time. <laughs> Freezing to death is one of the most painless ways to die. <laughs> Holly to Pete. Holly to Pete. Can you hear me? Holly to Pete, can you hear me? Hey, hey Holly, this is Ethan, have you made it? Yes, yes I made it, is Pete there? Yeah, yeah, Holly, he's here. He's uh, he's in the shower, though. Um, did you get a hold of the sheriff? Uh, yes, uh, the radio was broken, but I fixed it. Um, the sheriff should be there within the hour. Oh, that's excellent, Holly, excellent. Look, I'll have Pete call you as soon as he gets out, okay? Boring conversation anyway.
Hey, you see, Pete, I'm not a murderer. Why are you doing this? Pete, it has nothing to do with you. You're just in the way. See, the U.S. government doesn't seem to give a damn about its damaged heroes, and so... <laughs> I really gotta go, Pete, all right? Best of luck. Ooh. Engine fuse. Car starts a lot easier with one. <laughs> Oh no 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 Shit. Oh no.
did she say? The 2210. 2210 to the 26th. I think that's right. Okay, that's the 240. What did she say now? Keep it together. 240. Wait a minute, maybe this is the thing. It all looks the same. God damn it! 2210 to the. Oh, man. In this way? Did I already go this way? Shh. That's no good. Where the hell's the reverse? God, I hate stuff. already been this way. I just did a big circle. My, my, my. You didn't make it in here on your own, did you? Pete, I need your help. Hey. You ski fast. Put the bow down, Holly. Even if you are that good of a shot, and I doubt you are, my reflex would still kill him. No, you wouldn't. 
I'll pull the trigger and the bolt will go through your head at one one hundredth of a second. You'll go out like a switch. At the most, Pete will get a slight nick. Where did you learn that, Holly? How to stand like that? Mmm. Did Uncle Sam teach you that? She's got a medal in marksmanship. <laughs> really? <laughs> but did you ever kill anyone, Holly? If only you knew. Go ahead. Shoot me. Come on, do it. Shoot me, Holly. That's right. Come on, do it. Holly. You can't, can you? You've got buck fever. Now put the bow down, Holly, and let's talk about the... Hey. Hey. Oh my God. Who is it? Uh, feels like it just punched me. There's no blood. Since you don't believe in these, you go first. I'll accept that. <laughs> 